What is a fnord? A fnord is a difficult concept to grasp because you have never seen a fnord consciously. A fnord is not even a fnord. It's a replacement word because if you were to see the true word fnord, your conditioning would not allow you to read it. Can you see the fnord? Fnord is the reason Boston women prefer brown eggs and New York women prefer white. Fnord is the apostrophe on drugs. Fnord is neither a particle nor a wave. Fnord's that feeling when you take your kids to the park and you see the bylaw man. Is this your child, sir? Does she uh, have the chip? You know the chip, the tracking chip. No. No. Are you aware of the Good Parenting Act of 1984? Okay, well, sir, you need to be more aware of the laws that we have in place here in Canada. And this will this will be a verbal warning today. But um, I want to make sure next time you're in the park, your kids are on a leash and you have the chip. All right. Fnord is the space in between the pixels on your screen. Fnord is the oo in vroom. Fnord is the sales tax on happiness. Fnord is the echo of silence. To see the Fnord, you must remain calm. Your heart will remain calm. Your adrenaline gland will remain calm. Calm, all over calm. You will not panic. You will look at the fnord and see it. You will not evade it or black it out. You will stay calm and face it. A fnord is a word deliberately placed in current events and television. It produces anxiety in the reader or viewer and encourages the parole to give their attention to the advert. Your attention is the product the broadcasters sell. Fnords maximize the value of your attention by devaluing all other ideas but those advertised. It is unclear where Fnord first appeared, but for those with eyes to see it, it's everywhere. How do you do? This is Peter McAllister, the father. I'd like a hotel room, please, with an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with a key. Credit card? You got it. Plaza Hotel Reservations, may I help you? Howdy do. This is Peter McAllister, the father. Yes, sir. I'd like a hotel room, please. Yes. With an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with a key. Yes, sir. You'll need a major credit card upon check-in. Credit card, you got it. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Can you see the Fnord? When you find yourself watching a movie, which is really a giant infomercial on TV, that's because of Fnords. When reading the newspaper, your gaze drifts from the latest stock market figures to an ad, that's a Fnord. When you've heard your 15th terrorist story since coffee, and just crave a little quiet time with your friends while they enjoy the product placements, that's a Fnord. When you start to see the Fnords, the appalling scope of the conspiracy really starts to sink home. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look, look at this shit. Look at this. Can you believe that? Let me say hi. Okay, Google, stream Stranger Things from Netflix to my TV. Okay, Stranger Things from Netflix, playing on TV. A couple of explosions, what may have been uh, an outgoing Patriot uh, ground-to-air missile, uh, some reported airbursts that may, may have been an intercept, that may, may have been an intercept. From the people that brought you Google Home comes the next evolution of the smart home, and it's just outside your window. Meet Google Gnome. Hi, how can I help?
Okay, no. What's the weather like outside? The weather outside is sunny and 76 degrees. He's right. We begin with a shocking and gruesome story out of East Bakersfield tonight. Late last month, a four-year-old boy was blinded by his father, telling officers, quote, Daddy ate my eyes. Okay, Gnome, turn on the hose I'm holding. Sure. Okay, Gnome, can I eat this lemon tree leaf? Yes. What about this daisy? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, but I could eat it. Well, the other big story we're watching for you today is on the war front. Air raid sirens blared again today in Saudi Arabia and Israel. Iraq fired seven Scud missiles at Tel Aviv this afternoon. Okay, Noam, uh, is this compost? Really, we're all compost if you think about it. Pretty much everything is made up of organic matter and will return to organic matter. So just regular trash then? Huh? And, you know, they announced, ISIS announced they're going to attack us in Washington, which means they're going to attack us someplace else. Unlike Obama, when he said, we're going to remove everybody. We're sending 50 troops in. They're sending 50 people in, right? Why does he have to talk about it? Right? Why does he have to talk about it? You know the movies, shoot first, talk later, right? 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 Shoot first, you talk about it later. You know, I've admired Ron Paul and known him and been a friend, I guess, for 20 years. I've been interviewing him, 21 years, maybe friends the last 10. But it's not the same as it is with Trump. Trump is so fire-breathing, so energetic, so cunning, so real, and he's having results so amazing that it just makes me be endeared to Trump. I'm ready to die for Trump at this point. And I'm already ready to die for America. It's the same feeling I have for America because he is America. You're America. Off, on, off, on, on, ah. Nobody can stop them. They're having their way with America. They want our guns. And if you're not with them, cops and military, ah, then you will declare that you're with the Republic now. And don't tell me that I'm a weirdo because I'm upset about this and I should only go get upset about my favorite football team winning or losing. Listen, I know what tyranny means. I know the bankers are putting poison in our food and water. I know the bankers have stolen $8.5 trillion. I know we're under War Powers Act. I know they're hurting us. I know they're carrying out New World Order. I know they stage those terror attacks. You know what it's like to go up to this and go out every day and go past the peer pressure and come out day one and say, 9-11 was an inside job and lose most of the radio stations I was on. You know what it's like to go to sleep every night knowing you work for a bunch of psychotic killers and you bastards are probably going to end up killing me one day? You know what it's like knowing you've ruined my life? You know what it's like, you sons of bitches? I'm tired of your crap. You commit evil, you're part of an evil system, and we're standing up against you. And the Republic is going to defeat you in the end. Some of us won't make it personally through this, but a lot of us are. And in the end, you are going to be brought to justice for all the kids you've kidnapped for CPS, all you CPS workers, all you corrupt bureaucrats, all of you that have had your way with innocent children over and over again and who think your evil's invincible. You're not invincible, and God is going to deal with you. And you are cursed to hell. I'm done. i got to get out of here. I'm pissed off now. Robert Wanick, you can make some closing comments. I'll give you the last two minutes. We're going to end transmission. Make sure the guy's got your address so I can send you those videos so he can resist tyranny. I salute you. And we're not getting what humans always thought was key, the bone broth. The bone broth. The, the bone broth. The, the, the bone broth. The bone broth. The bone broth. Well, now it's the next level of that. It's caveman. But hey, I need a glass of caveman. Caveman. Mmm, 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 man, mmm. It's better than Oval Team. Mm. Better than mm. Oval Team. Mm. It's just unbelievable. Mm. It's mm. unbelievable. Mm. Caveman is just over the top. What in the world? Mm. But now with the milk, I was like, whoa, this has milk in it. Whoa. Mm. It tastes like good. Man, this tastes so good. Mmm. Tastes like the best milkshake ever. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. Like good. Mm. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. It tastes like Oval Team. Mm. Like good. Whoa. Changing. I was over 270 pounds. And with the iodine exercise and better diet, I have lost now more than 50 pounds total. And I'm continuing to lose. 
I was 270 pounds. And just with jogging, uh, exercise, eating properly, and taking iodine, I am nearly 270 pounds. So the recent suggestion by the World Health Organization that cell phone use might increase the risk of brain cancer left some people pretty rattled. 14 minutes after 10 right now. Take a look at this. If you're not near your TV, come on over because some of your neighbors might actually be in this line. This is outside International Plaza in Tampa. So I think people need to take a step back and relax and realize that Number one, the, the recommendations are only possible carcinogen, not a definite carcinogen. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. How about now? Can you see the Fnord? If you still can't see the Fnord, I want you to go further back, way back, to your first grade teacher writing Fnord on the blackboard, while a wheel with a spiral design turns and turns on your teacher's desk, turns and turns, and his voice drones on. If you don't see the Fnord, it can't eat you. Don't see the Fnord. Don't see the Fnord. Remember, hands by our sides. All eyes forward. Legs walking safely. Zip up those lips. Throw the key out the window. The first thing you do is when I say one, you're going to stand up in your carpet squares. What are you going to do? Stand up. Two, you're going to point towards your leader. What are you going to do? Point towards the leader. And I say three. The red row goes first. The United Nations has something called Millennium Development Goals, which are things that since you guys have been born, they put into place that they wanted to help out the world with. And basically, they got all the countries of the world together, and they agreed on these eight things that they need to work on. You have eradicating extreme hunger and poverty. Okay. One of the things that I personally wanted to accomplish in my class is that I think our students need to understand how to be good global citizens. I hope your company doesn't get their supplies. Because that's something that's really going to carry with them for the rest of their lives. A Fnord is not even seeing the Fnord. Nord is having to go to the bathroom but not knowing which one to use. Sweden is the most forward thinking country in the world when it comes to questioning gender. Do these dolls have a gender? Is it a boy or a girl? The B word and the G word? <laughs> Changing pronouns in books. Spider-Man must also go to the toilet then. Sleeping Beauty says no. Yeah. How <laughs> do Hon, han, eller hen That's not something I always have to say, but it would be good to know today for the film. Skaya sea hon eller hen. Just Mika, okay. Fnord is reducing infant mortality by getting an abortion. countries. 
do not speak for you. So Canada, please do not fund abortion in Africa. I beg you to not use the blood of the innocent to pave the path to development. You can never buy development with the blood of the innocent. So I'm so glad to be here with you today. And I join my, my little voice, I join it to yours. And I say, say Zola to way. End with the killing. End the killing. No to abortion. No to euthanasia. Because every life matters. Because life begins at conception. Thank you. If Nord is scheduling your C-section for June 1st because you want to drink on your birthday. And, and Secretary, I want to ask you about some comments that you made over the weekend mm -hmm. on Meet the Press regarding abortion. You said, quote, the unborn person doesn't have constitutional rights. And my question is, at what point does someone have mm -hmm. constitutional rights? And are you saying that a child on its due date, just hours before delivery, still has no constitutional rights? Under our law, that is the case, um, Paula. I support Roe v. Wade um, because I think it is an important... A fnord is that feeling you get after being bit by a bug. Uh, ten billion dollars over the next ten years uh, to make it the year of the vaccines. W what does that mean exactly? Well, over this decade, uh, we believe unbelievable progress can be made both inventing new vaccines and making sure they get out to all the children who need them. Uh, we could cut the number of children who die every year from about 9 million to half of that uh, if we have success on it. And the, the benefits there in terms of reducing sickness, reducing the population growth, it really allows a society a chance to take care of itself uh, once you've made that intervention. Now malaria is, of course, transmitted by mosquitoes. Uh, I brought some here so you could uh, Experience this. We'll let let those roam around the uh, <laughs> auditorium a little bit. There, there's no reason only poor people should have have the experience. Uh... Fnord is pretending these four people exist. Since 2002, billions of U.S. tax dollars have been spent rebuilding Afghanistan after its decades of war. A big chunk of that money pays Afghan soldiers and police. But it turns out a lot of those troops may not, in fact, exist. We when a tree falls down and there's nobody around to hear it, the sound it makes, that's a fnord. All right, uh, let's go with the native Amazonians. Sustainable or not sustainable? Sustainable. Okay. Nice. Uh, environmental groups? Sustainable. Sustainable. Why? Okay. Let's go with the cattle ranchers. Not sustainable. Not sustainable. Why? Well, because they use land that's already cut down and never grow back. Yeah. Very nice. Right Loggers, sustainable or not sustainable? Not, not, not sustainable. Why? They don't plant any trees back once they're done. Uh, when the sleepy planet comes alive, and I wake up in the warm sunlight. There's a simple harmony to life, a magic thing. And I walk among the flowers Hi, and trees. Hi, Rob. <laughs> and I feel the earth beneath my feet. <laughs> and I remember that the air we breathe is a magic thing. Everybody now. Like New orders, boys. You're going to burn. And I want you there by morning. By morning? Oh, I don't know if we can do that. You'll just have to work harder then. Double shifts. No breaks. No breaks? And make sure you got plenty of oil. Yeah. Roger that. We'll give it a gas. Hey, Tom. You know what this means. Yeah. <laughs> Buku overtime. <laughs> oh, what a miraculous device. <laughs> oh, I'm really getting the hang of this. <laughs> I do believe we are destined to be soul mates. Hit me one time. Hit me twice. Go! 
That's rather nice. You know, I study fruit flies, and I suddenly realized that basically we're all fruit flies. <laughs> like, you know, you're born as an egg, and you live in that egg environment, and your parents kind of cut out all the external crap that comes in and protect you and nourish you and clothe you and all that. It's a very nice little egg, and it's comfortable. But at some point, you hatch out and start crawling around and eating stuff on your own. You start reading, you start looking at the tube, you start doing all sorts of things. You hatch out as a maggot. <laughs> and a maggot, a maggot can now crawl around, it's got two dimensions, and it can ingest food at its will, and it defecates all over the environment, and some other smaller maggots can even eat your defecation and get some nourishment out of it, and, uh, you know, you, you grow as you eat more nourishment, and you molt, you become a second level maggot, you know, a bigger maggot, it even looks different. And the bigger you get, the more people you can, or more maggots you can crush with your weight. World overrun with food. Yeah, I mean, most people in the world are content to stay as first or second level maggots. And they establish their own little area and they, they crawl around there and that's fine. And the, the guys that become 10th level maggots are really big wheels. Well, if you filled up your gas tank lately, then you don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. So you don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. And you don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you that gas prices are back on the rise. You don't need us to tell you gas prices are on the rise. I know. How about now? Can you see the Fnord?